I'm extremely concerned about the cessation of bus air and services on Route 20 and the Expressway 20 uh, from Galway to Dublin and stopping along all the routes along the way. Uh, this has left uh, small communities, rural communities, without a bus service uh, in those locations uh, and particularly with the cessation of the safe the uh, passes on the road, uh, the travel passes. This leaves our vulnerable, our elderly, our people with intellectual disability and their companions who they need for travel uh, also uh, high and dry. Uh, this is not uh, any way to treat our, our vulnerable people. Uh, I'm extremely concerned as I say and I'm uh, asking the government to step in and to make sure that these services are reinstated. In my 22 years as a public representative I have fought uh, all of the time for public transport and uh, uh, we opened a train service from Limerick to Galway. I think that the withdrawal of this service is absolutely deplorable and I think it's a dis disaster for the people who want to use public transport. Only in the last week I've been in contact with the, with the Green Party and Senator Pauline O'Reilly and Minister Raymond Ryan to, to say that this kind of thing should not be happening. And mind you, this kind of thing is only happening in the west of Ireland. And sometimes I feel that that uh, the lack of cohesion among our uh, Araptus members has led to this in terms of that there isn't a, a cohesive plan in terms of the development of public transport, the maintain the to retain public transport in places where they say it's not uh, profitable or, or feasible to run them. But I think what we have to do is to try and create a public ser service there, front load with infrastructure, provide good services, and people will use them. And in view of the whole thing in, in relation to climate change and the global warming, if we don't develop public transport, we are on a, are on a hiding to nothing. So I want to thank the group that have organised uh, people coming here today to talk about the impact of services here in Banlaslow. Uh, particularly I've talked to some people here already from the Active Age Retirement Group. I know there are a lot of groups here, disability groups as well. We need to make sure that people are able to travel with a travel pass in Banlaslow. I've spoken with Minister Eamon Ryan this week um, and, you know, confirmed. I've also spoken to private providers, both CityLink and Aircoach, and with our local link services into Banlaslow. And we have four daily services from Portumna, Lawrencetown Airport and into Banlaslow. Um, you know, we need, to, we need to see that there's local link services connecting to Port Yuncla Hospital and the train station. I've specifically asked the Minister around uh, the Connected Ireland plan and I'll be asking groups here today um, to make submissions later this year. Connected Ireland is a plan that's been proposed by National Transport Authority about connecting our towns, villages and our cities. Uh, we need to show that there's a demand, particularly between Athlone and Banlaslow and the old Dublin Galway Road to connect more uh, with the town here, with the hospital, and connect people in, in Athlone. I've asked Minister Eamon Ryan as well about that the private providers, CityLink and Aircoach, will be able to connect with the, with the bus station, the train station in Athlone town. So in other words, people who wish to use the rail services will be able to do so using the local links, using Aircoach and using, uh, using CityLink.